Hi, I'm Curtis Bartis and welcome back to another video. So in the previous video, I mentioned I'm gonna do which is better, online banking or cryptocurrency as a whole. So if you find that that is interesting, make sure to subscribe to this channel because on this channel, we discuss a lot of topics surrounding financial, cryptocurrencies, banks, and way more. So make sure to subscribe and also put post notification on for future videos. So let's get right into it. So today's topic is time bank. If you have watched other YouTubers videos, you will know about a online bank as current. Current is an online bank where instead of a physical bank, it's a web based bank. So this is what time bank is. Time bank is a South African online bank. So what's the difference between an online bank and a bank? So firstly, it's online. There's no physical place, physical bank you walk into. You sign up online, you register online, do your details and you have an account online. There's a, if there's any problems, you don't go into the bank that's a negative now. You have to phone in, which sometimes might be a hassle, but there is upsides to online bank. So let's just go over what Time Bank is. Time Bank is a digital retail bank based in South Africa. It was founded in 2015 and the headquarters location is in Johannesburg. As you can see, keep track of your profit. There's no monthly fees to it and you can sign up with in five minutes. You need your ID, facial recognition, you know, the usual. So as they say, thank you for supporting us and you join 3 million customers as you can see. Dololo paperwork, Dololo stress, open an account in less than five minutes. You can read up on this for yourself. So why use an online bank compared to normal bank? Firstly, they can offer more interest on online bank since there is no physical people. The only people Time Bank has is the people at the kiosk helping you sign up and maybe any queries you have at a local pick and pay or box store so that is the only and maybe the call center people they employ compared to a physical bank where they employ way more people to run the bank so that is where time bank saves up and can give more interest to their customers so i'm just going to go over the full time bank if you want to sign up there's no Hassle is quick quick. So once you've signed up, you will see Time Bank looking at you can see hey hello Curtis Bartish. There's two accounts, but you can have 10 sub accounts from that account. So the, the first one is your everyday account. This is where you're gonna deposit money into this account to start using the Time Bank. The, your first deposit is free. If you deposit money into your time bank account and the one after that is six rand per thousand rand i'm not sure but you can check up on that but your first one is free so how do you deposit money into your time bank account you're gonna have to do this at your local pick and pay or box store you're gonna have to go to a teller or a cashier and deposit money into your account there you can't do it at the kiosk they do that is just where you can sign up and do your stuff there but the kiosk is just for viewing and registering purposes you can't deposit money at a kiosk or withdraw money the only way is at a cashier at the pick and pay or box store so the, f the everyday account is for your normal then you have your goal save account this is the account i probably use for the high interest there is an interest of eight percent and it fluctuates on how long you there is a chart there is a thingy key where you can check up on the interest but the interest is eight percent like per annum so if you deposit money into your gold save account this is where it can get interest so this is why i use time bank for this i'm not going to use it for every day i'm just going to put it in and leave it over time i'm not going to worry about every day i use other banks with it but even though they even though their fees are quite reasonable i don't use time bank for that feature then you have your 
as you can see it's exactly same as a normal bank you have the send money you have pay someone you can pay a bill you can add a goal buy airtime withdraw manage beneficiaries so it's the exact same as a normal bank I'm just gonna run over quick quick over the mobile application too so you can see the mobile application exactly the same as the desktop application but quite more user friendly as you can see there's four tabs at the bottom like most Luno or other tabs they the development of apps is exactly the same type vibe as you can see exactly the same as you can see there's a cash one tab at the bottom this is where you deposit money into your time bank account as you can see if you don't have your physical card you can request a time code the time code is where you will get a code and you can display this at your local teller and you can give the money to them and it will be deposited into your account without having your physical card you can just have the code the exact same apply when you withdraw you don't need a physical card you just get the time code and you withdraw money and deposit money so that is the cash feature on this side there is a buy this is where you can buy your airtime electricity entertainment vouchers such as spotify food if you want to buy uber eats vouchers which it with your time bank account you have gaming you have wi-fi and you have insurance if you want to buy insurance and then you have your safe each as you can see this is just exactly the same on the desktop you transfer money from your everyday account to your goal safe and we will earn interest on your account then you have your your pay this is just where you can send money to a family member you can pay a account such as your TSTV or something and you have your pay bill payment so it's exactly the same as the desktop application you can see here's just my cards you have cash more time send buy this is a feature I like about the time bank more time so the more time feature is where you buy something but you only pay half at for example if you want to buy a new pair of shoes you only pay half the money half the amount of the shoes and then you can pay the rest over i think two months but charge at no interest so if you have for example the shoes is thousand rand you pay 500 now and you can pay the rest over two months so it's like more time as you can see no interest fees or no waiting you can have your product immediately if you into it's like a lay by type but you get your stuff immediately without interest and that's a cool feature and you can see they also provide bank a uh, business account if you want to use a business account if you have like a business you can use the business account and you can see there's a context us page if you want to contact them and there's a help and that is the mobile application straightforward so time online banking or cryptocurrency was the question as you can see these two shouldn't be compared in the first place this was just a video to educate yourself hashtag educate yourself but these two are two separate fields as I can put it as you can see a normal bank and an online bank should be compared but you already know some of the differences between the two like me personally I think like time bank is doing something awesome in South Africa and they're gonna keep on growing as people move on more to digital the digital world so time bank is shouldn't be compared to cryptocurrencies if it should be compared i will take cryptocurrencies or online cryptocurrency platforms such as luno blockfi and you know the whole binance all that platforms i will take over a a platform such as time bank because but in the day society, we need banks. We're not there yet with cryptocurrencies where we can fully transition to cryptocurrencies. We still need bank in our day to day. And it's going to be quite a time before we transition ourselves from the normal banking system to cryptocurrencies. So if you had to choose a bank, I would say no financial advice, but look into time bank it's quite an amazing platform to use in South Africa compared to your normal banks it is a unique service and at the moment they are the only ones in South Africa doing this kind of service as and as you as an investor and learning more about financial is good to broaden your horizon on 
all the products available at your disposal. Hope this video gave you an insight of Time Bank and the online banking as a whole. As you can see, online banking such as Capitec and all the other banking has online services, but it's different. They have an online banking system, but they're not fully online, but they're transitioning to that. So I'm Curtis Parties, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, peace.